What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, reviewing today Apotheon on PC and PS4. This artistic new title that's just released really kind of bridges the gap between ancient platformers and modern day gaming. Picture Castlevania meets God of War, because in this title you're attempting to slay Zeus and all the other gods for bringing ruination upon the world of man. Olympus has turned its back on the people and instead let them slowly die out of their own accord. As a last-ditch effort, you are attempting to climb Olympus and slay the gods one by one, taking their power and returning it to the people, just so they can survive. Obviously, the most unique thing about this game is the art style. It is simply incredible. It's like traversing through a painting. Each level has its own tone of art and lighting, and I really, really, really could not give them enough credit for that. Sneaking through Hades with my torch out, you could feel every shadow ooze across the floor, especially with the amazing combat system in this game. Combat in this game is broken down into three styles, short range, long range, and your shield class. Short range are all your weapons like daggers, swords, and spears. Long range is your throwing spears, explosives, anything you can chunk at them to keep them at bay. And shields, of course, are what you need most to deflect heavy blows and to stop ranged weapons from getting you. You'll also be crafting your own explosive hand grenade style throwing weapons and also potions to stay alive between these long combat sequences. One thing I really liked about this was the fact that there isn't actually any real weapon upgrades. There's no real ability upgrades. Within the first 10 minutes, you're introduced to all the intricacies of the combat, but only through your own skill do you actually get better. Instead of giving your character a double jump or giving you a new ability to slide across the ground, everything is given right up front and your own skill teaches you how to defeat each new interesting foe that's flung at you. Another gigantic plus is the humongous boss battles. Each one really truly feels like you are crushing a god. It's rare for a game to actually make me terrified and energetic just at an opening discussion. But the dialogue the gods share with you, the things they say, veiled threats, creepy offers, amazing interesting dialogue that is voice act perfectly. And so, a champion is born. A lone bright ember glowing from within a dying heart. They really encourage organic exploration. Never are you really forced to explore a dungeon. Sometimes you'll have to find a key or a torch or a way through, but never are you stuck trying to explore every nook and cranny. But you have a strong desire to. Finding new weapons and getting all the next best armor really, really helps you survive, but it's also really fun just to try and find a little hidden areas. This 10 hour adventure had me completely enraptured start to finish and this is the first game I have ever bought the soundtrack to because I love just listening to this giant ambient sound. Retro gamers and modern gamers alike can really rejoice with this title, but let's go on over the ratings board and put a number on it. I am giving Apotheon on the PlayStation 4 and PC a 10 out of 10. Perfect score and I'm giving it the Dreamcast Guy seal of approval. If you want a truly unique experience that will stick with you for hours, I highly advise you to give this game a shot. This has been Dreamcast Guy saying like, comment, share, and subscribe, and forgive me if my voice sounds different in this, I am extremely sick and I am about to fall over dead. So if you liked it, uh, share it, and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go die now. Thank you. Please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.